Marvel Studios is reportedly moving forward with Deadpool 3, as Ryan Reynolds is set to star in another sequel written by the Molyneux sisters. Hey, oh! Oh, hello! I know, right? Whose balls did I have to fondle to get my very own movie? Deadpool 3 is moving forward at Marvel Studios, with Ryan Reynolds's next solo film finding a pair of writers. 20th Century Fox went in a new direction with the X-Men franchise in 2016, with the release of Deadpool. Rich Corinthian leather. The decision to greenlight the R-rated superhero movie came on the heels of a leaked demo reel that generated huge buzz online. When The Merc with a Mouth made his proper debut a few years later, Deadpool became the then highest grossing R-rated movie of all time and launched a new X-Men spin-off franchise for Fox. The studio went on to make Deadpool 2 in 2018 and had plans to make a third film and an X-Force spin-off, but these plans became more complicated after Disney acquired Fox's film studio. The deal meant Deadpool's rights reverted to Marvel Studios and led many to wonder what future Reynolds' adult action comedy franchise had under the family-friendly Disney umbrella. Christmas. Can I visit you between the holidays? <laughs> oh, that sweater is terrible. For his part, Reynolds kept hope alive for Deadpool 3 by teasing meetings with Marvel Studios, and now it appears the Thrakel is taking a major step forward. According to Deadline, Reynolds is set to return as Wade Wilson for Deadpool 3. The upcoming sequel will not be written by Paul Wernick and Retrice, who penned the first two films. Instead, Marvel is reportedly hiring Wendy Molyneux and Lizzie Molyneux Lodulin to write the script. The Molyneux sisters are best known for their work on Bob's Burgers, where they are writers and executive producers. Deadpool 3 is not officially greenlit just yet, but Marvel Studios president Kevin Feige is involved with the upcoming project. Now that Deadpool 3 is moving forward, the next installment in the franchise will reportedly maintain the R-rated tone of the previous films. That will be welcomed news for many fans who were worried that Marvel Studios and Disney could water down the material to make it PG-13. Even though Reynolds is back for another R-rated romp, the rest of the creative team will look quite different. Not only are Wernick and Reese not returning, but Deadpool 2 director David Leitch is not expected to be back given his busy schedule, unless Deadpool 3 takes a few years to get into production. <sighs> but I appreciate the gesture. The biggest question that fans will now be left with regarding Deadpool 3 is the continuity. The first two Deadpool movies take place in a pocket of Fox's X-Men franchise, but the series has already made countless jokes about the messy continuity. Reynolds could be given the freedom to continue Deadpool stories outside of the MCU through the multiverse, or he could suddenly find himself in the shared universe. Since Reynolds's Deadpool is so popular, it won't be surprising if Marvel Studios finds a way to bring him to the MCU for a short time or permanently. After all, Deadpool 2 ended with Wade Wilson time traveling, so perhaps Deadpool 3 will feature him accidentally going to a new timeline and help the MCU introduce mutants. Oh, I'm looking for Francis. Hope you liked that video and if you haven't subscribed this channel, do subscribe it and we will see you in the next video.